Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 49 on a new feature of drag and drop plots in ADS 2021 update one. This version got released in November 2020. And if you are a supported customer, you should be able to download it from Keysight website and start using it. It's a very nice way of doing plots and tables in data display and makes designer's job much, much easier, which I'm going to demonstrate. Now, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell icon to make sure all the notifications are enabled. And after you watch the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in watching this tutorial. All right, so let's get started and understand what is this new capability and how this is going to help you. So let me bring out one schematic. And usually whenever you perform simulation in ADS, whether it is linear, nonlinear, or modulated signal, the usual way you plot the data is by going to this left side palette, select the appropriate type of graph or table, click on the data display, then from the list of data set variables, you pick which uh, data would you like to plot. And in this case, if I want to plot S11, I click on add, select the right unit, click OK, and now you have this graph. And similarly, you will repeat the same thing if you have multiple plots to be added. Well, starting from the latest 2021 update, one release, you don't need to do uh, these troublesome steps just to plot. Now here on the right hand side, you notice the expression manager will be by default active on your data display page. And this expression manager does have all your data set variable. So if you compare these, uh, this data with the list of table available here, you can notice all these variables are what is contained inside your data set. And all those variables are also by default part of this expression manager. So to plot anything, you really don't need to click on the plot and insert those plots. You can, you have access to all data set variables. And now in order to create a graph, I can pick any measurement from here. Now, once you click on a specific measurement, you can also see associated property of that measurement here, which earlier we used to get using what function in the data display to understand what kind of data it is, how many number of points, how many dimension data it is, and so on. So all these things are very, very easy now to obtain. Now, in order to plot S11, I simply do the left mouse button and I can drag and drop this measurement. You can see a rectangle is activated and I drop it, select the unit, and that's your plot is right there. And as soon as you plot this data, remember it is a new variable or a trace variable called DBS11, and that also gets added in this list. So now once you select that measurement, this particular trace gets selected, right? Now, if you had multiple things to plot, I can select, let's say these four things at the same time. And now if I do my left mouse click and drag and drop, and in one shot, I can select the units and all four S parameters are plotted already, right? Now, what if in case you forgot uh, I wanted to plot S21 as well as S11 on the same plot. And I only originally plotted S11. Now, how can I add S21 here? Well, not a problem. Select S21, drag and drop it and leave it on the graph where you want to plot and select the units. And now you have both of those plots automatically. Isn't that so easy to do now? Yep, so you will really enjoy this new capability in ADS 2021 update one release. Now, how about going plotting rest of the plots such as a Smith chart table? Well, the left mouse button only gives you the default rectangular plot because most of the times this is what we use. But in cases where you need a Smith chart or table, this time you just do a right mouse button click and then drag it using right mouse button. And once you drop it into data display, the first option you get is to select what type of plot you need. And in this case, let's say if I want to plot a Smith chart, I simply select the Smith chart and you have it. Now, how about plotting a table? Well, right mouse button, drag and drop, and this time we will select insert list. And now this will create a list or a table for us. Now, like we added another trace on the earlier graph here, if I want to add anything under the table, not a problem. 
you can simply do rouse, right mouse button, click, drag and drop, and leave that measurement on to this table. And now you have this table up and running here, right? So, so simple to plot. Now, remember when you're plotting, you also, you, along with the data set variables, you are also having these kind of traces here. And these are the things which you have already plotted on the graph. And now once you right click on those, um, you know, um, objects here, you can duplicate the trace, you can select the trace, you can change data set and do all those operations in bulk over all these plots. And I already created another video showing you what bulk operations you can do here. Now, if you write a lot of equations on your data display, the usual way of writing equation is to click on this equation block here. You type in your equation, and that's how you get it on your data display page. Now, starting in this version, you also have an equation button here. You can click on an insert a new equation and you type in here. For example, I will write a variable my z and I will use the function s to z and then I will convert s11 uh, to the z11 uh, here. So now I have the impedance looking uh, derived from s11. Now if I have to plot this equation, you can notice this equation is also in the expression manager and I can simply drag and drop it like I did earlier and I can select magnitude and now you can see the impedance uh, with respect to the frequency uh, using that equation. So all these things are very very easy and also using the filter option here you can select object type and under object type now you can switch on the specific things in this expression manager table. For example if I only want to see what comes along with my data set which is the native uh, simulation parameters and once I only filter out the data set I only see what originally came along with my after my simulation but if I want to see the equation only then it will only show you equation or if you want to only see traces that means the things which you have already plotted so you can make those selections automatically uh, based on what you're trying to do uh, depending upon you know how much complexity you have in data display so that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this new feature and you will be a lot more productive by reducing number of mouse clicks which you do and organize your data display with great ease. Thanks again for watching.